Good morning, Rock Church. My brothers and sisters on YouTube and Twitter, this is Pastor Robert Lewis Davidson on this Sanctified Sunday. That's right. This is Sanctified Sunday. Indeed, this is a new day. It's a new day that the Lord has made. We're going into the church to rejoice in this day. That's right. We're going to have our Bible study today. We're going to get on up and go to church this morning. Come on, somebody. You may be saying, Pastor, I'm going to have church on TV. Man, listen here. Get on up and get yourself together and come on down to the Rock Church and have you some church. Like the old folks used to say, we're going to have some church this morning. I can't wait, man, to be there and be with my brothers and sisters, Elder Russell and Elder Brooks, Sister Deacon and Sharon, all the church family going to be in their house today. We're going to be encouraged. Come on now, Brother Jabari, I see y'all. All right, all right, all right. Let's get into our time today. But before that, we're going to pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for a new day. Oh, Daddy, this is a new day, a day we have not seen before. We lift up our hands, oh God, as we bless you for this day. Oh, sanctify Sunday, where the saints to come on in, where they sanctify self, giving you praise. Oh, God, I pray that we can enjoy the favor of not allowing rocks to cry out for ourselves. We're going to cry out ourselves to the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the great I am. God, may you be glorified this day. Open up our hearts to this new study series, God, and we bless you forevermore. In Jesus' name, let God's people say amen. All right, all right, y'all. It was a good time in our study series, I Shall Live by Faith. Now, we're on a new series now, a new series. It is, I shall add to my faith. What are you talking about, Rob? It's, just, it's, just, it's all seen the same way. No, 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 it's not. See, we have learned so much more about the heroes of faith that we have looked into their lives. We've been encouraged and inspired. But see, we have to remember faith is action, okay? It's great to, to hear the stories of the Bible. And Brother Hayes, how about when we start, start living out and adding to our faith? Now, when you think about the word add, you think about the word for me is to build up, is to build, is to build on. So everything that we learned, let's build on it now, okay? See, there's, it's, it's, and I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you it's a biblical principle. But I want you to understand this. You know how we hear a good sermon and we take our notes and say, yeah, that's great. You know, and not so much this, you know, it's what the, the conviction of the sermon that you receive. OK, and you write down you some notes, you know, and, and you say, hey, listen, I'm going to I'm going to put this in action. Right. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to do something about it. But if you don't do anything about it that day and. Have a, have a mindset to live that out, then you forget about it. All the stories we read, uh, I shall live by faith. Right. Now, I want to make sure we don't forget about it. And how, is, how you can actually do that? Because we got to understand faith is much more than intellectual belief. See, we can intellectually believe something, okay? But when we begin to add to our faith, it's a result of action. OK, we got to know that the result of action, it helps us to understand how to step one step in front of the other. Right. And then we got to We got to get effort. We got to do something. We, we just don't we just don't all of a sudden we think it mentally, intellectually. But what do we do with our feet? What do we do? How do we put it in practice, brother? Andrew? So why is that even important? Because faith helps us to grow in our Christian character. All right. See. Why I say character than personality? Here's the reason why. Personality make who you are. You know, God cooked us and this is who we are. This is our personality. But character, it is to be inspired to live more like Jesus, to get Jesus' character in us, okay? All of us. So my personality make me who I am, right? Come on, somebody. Like I always say, come on, somebody. You know what I mean? Hey, man, you know, we got all different little, you know, mannerisms, way we do our stuff and handle ourselves. We, that's personality. Come on, somebody. But character counts. 
It should be like Jesus. And when characters like Jesus, as we put faith in action, as we add to our faith, it helps us to have more moral disciplines. Hey man, we these, these we need disciplines like never before, man. Right? And so, and, and I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna show y'all why. I'm gonna bless y'all real good. So I just wanna set the tone while we are into this new study. So now you gotta know, I'm asking Father, oh, my Daddy, what, what is it that we do? Holy Spirit, help me. I don't know where we're gonna go next. What do you want the people to know? What you want me to know? And boy, when I'm telling you, you dive into what God's word, man, it start illuminating the spirit is moving. He start helping me to see, give me lenses to see where we're going. And brothers and sisters, it blesses me beyond measure to share what's already written. I'm not even rewriting something. I'm just reading it and I'm writing it, dividing it. And it's, it's going to make sense to all of us. So let's see. With the study series, Remember Word going to be birthed out of as we enter in this new series, I shall add to my faith. It is found in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 5 and 9. Now, here's what the Word of God says. It says, for this reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness and to goodness knowledge and to knowledge self-control. And to, and to, and, and to self-control, perseverance. And to perseverance, godliness. And to godliness, mutual edification. And to mutual edification, love. Watch this. Why is this important? I don't care if you will never hear anything else I say. Hear this. This is why this is important. And verse 8 tells us, For if you possess these qualities and increasing measures, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh my gracious, what? You want to know, man, why there may be some fruitless deeds in your life or you feel like you're useless? The things that you have done, man, have no fruit that sprout from it. Seem like you're going through the revolving door. It's because it's something that we're not adding. You're not producing. You got head knowledge, but you don't have effort. You're not putting it together. You're not putting it into practice. You're not saying this is who I am. And let me tell you, there's a warning that goes along with this passage in verse nine. The warning says, but whoever does not have them is nearsighted. They're unable to see things clearly. They're nearsighted and blind. The Bible says, forgetting what they have been cleansed from their past sins. Oh, my gracious. I told you the spirit of the Lord be talking to me, y'all. I told you the spirit of the Lord, man, be having me in, the, in my lab downstairs in my, in my basement, man. Man, the spirit, what? even in my front room, when I, I'm, I'm broadcast, I be right here. The spirit of the Lord be speaking. Say, hey, listen, we have an opportunity to do something far beyond what you can imagine. You want to know how you can keep forward and go forward and stay faithful and, and not allow yourself to be hindered? He says the reason why we get hindered by stuff, we shrink back. And the reason why, Brother Walker, we don't do the things that God called us to do and we get out of faith and get into flesh is because the Bible says that, man, we are what? We are nearsighted and blind. Let that not be so. Let that not be so. He says, I want to give you something that's going to change your life. He says, if you possess these qualities and increasing measures, do you understand what keep you? He said, possess what? Possess adding to your faith goodness. Possess adding to your faith knowledge. Possess adding to your faith self-control. Possess adding to your faith perseverance. Possess adding to your faith godliness. Possess adding to your faith mutual edification. Possess adding to your faith, love. And I'm not talking about, man, you do one at a time. I'm talking about this is what we do as a lifestyle. You're putting it together. Oh, my God, you putting it together. It's a part of your character. Jesus is a part of your character, brothers and sisters. I am telling you, the inside of God has given me into this study series. Now, I don't have it all, but guess what? I know how to get it. I know how to get it. He's giving me downloads and downloads and downloads. So there's an expectation 
that if you want your life to be fruitful, you got to see that you are adding to what God has said to your faith. Now, listen, if you're not adding these to your faith, you're taking things away from your faith. So I want to ask you, brothers and sisters, are you ready to release your faith on this sanctified Sunday, knowing that you are called to make every effort to add to your faith? Brothers and sisters, we got to make every effort. So we're going to keep it simple, saints. I, I, I'm not going to overwhelm you today, right? We're going to keep it simple. You know where we're going. You know what I'm going to be teaching from. But we got to remember, by adding to our faith, it takes hard work. It's not easy. It's not hard. It's not easy. But it will keep us from being ineffective and unproductive. Who wants to be an ineffective? Who wants to be unproductive? I don't want to be. Man, I want to I, I wanna be able to add these things so that I can be effective and fruitful. Not fruitless, brothers and sisters. And as we look to add to our faith, all of them must be a continued part of what we do in our Christian life. You can't say, well, I'm going to learn by add to my goodness, but I ain't going I, I, I to worry about the knowledge part. No, 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 no. This is the recipe for being effective and, and productive. Oh, my God. You can be effective and productive. It don't make no difference how young you are, how old you are. As long as you're in the kingdom, you can be productive and effective. And you won't shrink back, brothers and sisters. Hey, man, let me tell you something. Let me give you three things I want you to think about. Number one, these things here, see, this is more than intellectual belief. This is reality. And let me tell you, as I started off earlier, you keep these principles. Number one, if you add to your faith, you will be actually walking in action all the time. Oh, because you have the effort. You'll be pouring in. You get pouring in, Brother Rob. You'll be pouring in the effort of adding to your faith these goodness, these principles. You'll never be saying you got to put forth the effort. And I'm going to tell you something. You're going to be challenged. As you learn about adding to your faith goodness, you're going to be challenged because you're going to have to make a decision. Even when something is not right, you're going to have to make a decision to do good, to be good, to pour out good. The second thing you need to understand, as we grow in our Christian faith, we're going we're gonna to learn some things about our character, and, and, and we're going to grow in temperament. You understand where I'm coming from? When you add into your faith, you're going to add temperament to it. Man, you ain't going to be going off on people. You're going to be thinking. You're going to be quick to listen, slow to speak. You're going to have these things in because it's going to represent your identity. You don't want to be known as somebody always go on. You don't want to be known as somebody stubborn. You don't want to be known as somebody, man, that people can't get along. You don't want to be known as somebody got a all frown on your face all the time. You want to be known as a person got Christian character and is identified with Jesus Christ. Oh man, you act just like Jesus. Come on, somebody. Somebody, oh man, you talk like Jesus. Oh, you serve like Jesus. Come on now. You get hey, hey listen here. This is the thing about this is the thing about adding. You're adding to your character. And lastly, brothers and sisters, this this morale that we have a discipline. We need moral discipline. We need to be disciplined. I am talking about the kind of discipline that you're choosing to do what's right even when it's hard to do. I choose to tell the truth. I choose to live this way. I choose not to uh, 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 compromise. And I know, man, I need to do this. I choose to do the right thing. I am telling you, your disciplines will never be the same. So, brothers and sisters, God empowers us and, and he enables us to grow in the kingdom, to grow. In, and it's our responsibility to add to our faith. Get ready. Get ready to go on this faith journey again. Get ready because you're now adding. We're making deposits, brothers and sisters. I don't know the last time you checked your bank account. And I know the way we do banking now, we get direct deposits. you about to get some direct deposits of faith put into you because you're going to add. It's going to be your responsibility. You're going to take it to another level. You're going to say, man, my level of faith is going to be off the charts. Come on, somebody. Man, look here. I'm looking to add. I'm looking to get better. I am looking to so my character be like Jesus, boy. And I'm telling you, can't nothing stop you as you adding what God has for you. You're going to always be productive and fruitful. Come on, somebody. Boy, listen, let me put a pause on this. I'm preaching today. I'm preaching. Listen, y'all. Y'all have no idea. Hey, I'm going to be preaching this afternoon. You don't want to miss that. Listen, I am telling y'all something. Boy, when you think about adding, all oh, the increase in your life just overflows.
close. Just, just add and watch what happens. Heavenly Father, we love you. We thank you for an opportunity to be open up, to see how we are not being fruitful. Oh God, your word tells us why we are not being fruitful. Because we are not adding goodness and knowledge, perseverance, self-control. We're not adding mutual, mutual edification. We're not adding love, God. We've been taken away. And God, now we're going to make new deposits. Oh God, so that we'll be able to live out of the overflow and people will see that our characters like Jesus, they see effort in us. They see temperament in us. Oh God, that our identity be lined up with you, Christ Jesus. I pray that we get ready. I pray that we embrace this this series of adding, God. And, and I pray that, God, that we can uh, be able to see clearly, God, and stop when we need to stop the things, the things that are not of you, God. And we know that if we decide this day to not, not go through the revolving doors of God being ineffective and unproductive, God, then the doors that we go through is going to be so much more fruitful because it's in alignment with what your word have said. Help us to be, oh God, clearly not blind and nearsighted any longer. Help us to be remember where we've been cleansed from. The blood of Jesus has cleansed us. May you be glorified on this sanctified Sunday. That God's people say amen. Y'all just been kissed. Come on, somebody. This is Sanctified Sunday, man. I can't wait to get up in the house of the Lord, get that praise on, and watch the fellowship all to see my brothers and sisters today. Oh, what an amazing time to have today in the body of Christ. This is Pastor Robert Louis Stevenson, and I delight in pointing to you all as the Spirit has pointed to me. May you all walk this day giving him praise. Go somewhere. Go to a church house. I don't care what church house you go to. And, lead, and allow the leading of the Spirit to lead you. May you have a sanctified Sunday. Take care of yourself.